Good morning, First National Bank. This is Kim. Hi. Um, your drive through window at the branch on Springfield Road, is that open on Friday nights? Gee, I don't know. I'm new here. We just saw forbidden phrase number one. I don't know. Now, that wasn't a very tough question. It's not as though she asked, Hi, um, what time is it in China? <laughs> what time is it in China? Now, that was a tough question. It didn't concern your business. But for people to call with routine questions about your organization and get an I don't know, that's so frustrating. Let's see how the caller felt. I don't know. I don't know? <laughs> I don't know? I wonder about a company like that. You call with a simple question, and the person who answers the phone doesn't know the answer, and worse, makes no offer to help. Am I making a mistake thinking of dealing with them? How good could they be, judging by the treatment I just got? After all, that's their representative. That's who they chose to deal with the public. I purposely waited to see if she'd offer help. Yeah, right. It's as if she wanted me to hang up and call a competitor. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'll find a bank that's just as convenient and offers better customer service. So, how do we cure forbidden phrase number one? I don't know. Here's how. First of all, we understand you won't always have the answers at your fingertips, but we want you to treat that customer with the positive attitude of, I don't know, but I'll find out. Next, leave out the negative parts, the I don't know but. What's left? It's your job to help. Even if you're unable to get the information, you've made an offer to help. You've gone that extra mile, and that's what's important. So when someone asks you a question that you don't have the answer to, your reply should be a helpful, gee, that's a good question. Let me check and find out. Understand the dynamics of this particular technique. Good morning, First National Bank. This is Kim. Hi. Um, your drive through window at the branch on Springfield Road, is that open on Friday nights? The Springfield branch? Gee, that's a good question. Let me check and I'll find out for you. Now that's better. The caller can feel you're trying to help. Telling the caller, I don't know, with no attempt to assist is one of the public's major pet peeves. What are they supposed to do? Just hang up and forget about it? And one more telephone doctor tip. Sometimes a customer will ask you an unusual question, and you need a little more time to decide where to transfer that call. Use a few buffer phrases while you're deciding, rather than just leaving the caller hanging in silence. Something like, That's a good question. Let's get you an answer. Or, I believe one of our people can help you with that. I'll check with my manager. Are you able to hold? Forbidden phrase number one, I don't know. Recommended? That's a good question. Let me check and find out. 